Hi guys, it's Kerry from Luxembourg. Ooh, it's been a very long time. Um, yeah, I've been away for a good while now and um, just sort of slowly but surely over the last year started uh, crafting again and getting my mojo back. Oof, yeah, the pandemic and menopause and many other things sort of took a, took a bit out of me. And of course, my fear of doing videos, um, yeah, that was a, a biggie too. <laughs> so I finally got the courage to um, uh, to do it. My, my word of the year is to persevere. Persevere. So that's what I'm trying to do, <laughs> get over my fear of videos. So um, yeah, I have been crafting for a while now. Um, I did finish a few journals last year at the end of the year, but um, because I procrastinate and I was too scared to do videos, I didn't actually document them at all which is a pity because um i had uh, some really nice ones especially one of the christmas ones was a beautiful journal i was so proud of it um it was also the first to sell at the christmas market so um i couldn't um, take any photographs of anything of it after that so um this being my first video i wanted to do something simple and easy um just to get into it and so excuse all the ums and ahs or whatever, all the mistakes that I make. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. Um, I think I need to look at my last video that I did because if I remember rightly, ugh, I sounded absolutely depressed. Um, so I might be reviewing it and deleting it if necessary. But I, to be honest, I've just stayed away from YouTube and um, I've just been sort of getting back into it and watching it. But I'm yeah, watching everybody else's videos and not taking care of my own which is lovely, I must say. All the inspiration is fantastic. But it does, it, I'm a bit of a scatterbrain because I've got about, I've got nearly 30 projects that need to be finished. And this is why persevere is my word of the year. I need to really persevere and get them done. But I get, I get scatterbrained when I see somebody doing something on YouTube that I think is lovely. Then I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And I want to do it right now. Uh, whether it's ephemera or anything to do with junk journaling and then I just have to you know say stop you've got to finish off your projects you've got to get everything uh done and I, I tidied up my craft room and I mean really tidied it up even the little bead drawers everything so I'm ready to go um what I did is I started the uh Margaret Miller challenge the weekly collage challenge i don't normally do challenges i've tried but i'm not very good at them but because this one is a paid one <laughs> it doesn't cost a lot but the fact that i paid to um, download the prompt words makes me feel like i will be able to um, carry on with it so uh, moving along i made myself this little uh journal well it's not really a journal is it it's a glue book because for the challenge of course it's a 52 week challenge and um, since uh, I didn't know what to collage in, I didn't have any notebooks or anything that would suit. So I made myself this little, uh, I guess it's a glue book then, uh, to do the challenge in. Uh, 52 weeks. Um, this one measures seven and a half by five and a half. Um, I made uh, 60 pages back and front because I thought, you know, if I mess up, I can always glue a couple of pages together. And that will give me a little bit of uh, wibbly room and then uh, leaves a few for the fairies to walk around on. So um, what I did, I made um, it out of just uh, vintage and antique papers. And it's got uh, how many signatures. I think it's got five signatures. Yeah, five signatures and um, just a selection of old papers. And botanicals this is out of a big wine old wine book this is a gardening book and some music paper and this each signature is made up with the same the same uh, pages so and i um just made sure i had plenty of room in between each signature so that it will lay flat and it will give me um it'll give it room to expand once uh, all the collaging is done i haven't done any pockets on the back i haven't decorated the front yet um here still i'm going to make some more pockets for here but i'm going to wait until um until it's finished to see just how bulky and to avoid any bulkiness when i'm doing it so 
uh, let me show you the first three weeks of the uh, three the three collages that I did. This was uh, the first week, and here the prompts were. The lighting isn't great today, guys. I'm sorry. It's really dull outside, and since I've done this in ages, I didn't really remember where I where I put my camera and in which angle. Anyway, let's get on with this. So the prompts for the first week. Let me show you. Uh, mode of transportation. Well, I think a soapbox is perfect. A library card I've got here, a zoo animal. This is out of uh, Wizard of Oz. This little bit is getting on my nerves. I think I'm going to end up chopping it off. That's his wings. Wizard of Oz uh, monkey there. Uh, my handwriting, yep, right there. I was actually going to put on there, but then I thought, no, I want it to be hidden because I don't really like my handwriting. Uh, stained paper, we've got this uh, coffee stained paper in the background. And then a bonus, uh, the sticker. I thought that would just tie these two bits in nicely together. Let me clip this back on. My little Tim Holtz clip. I, I hoard these, so I was really happy to be able to use it in my own journal. So this one here is week two. Now, least favourite coloured, pretty clear, mustard. I mean, I don't mind it in artwork, but like clothes-wise, absolutely no go for me. Uh, sewing notion, well, I did some sewing, some stitching around the signs, around the tea bag here, which actually has mustard seeds in it. I did some sewing up here. Uh, and then the next prompt was something out of the recycle bin. This here is part of a shopping bag. The top part where the ribbon the ribbon handle goes through i thought that was really cool so i sewed that down uh, a foreign language well this is a german advert for mustard in german and a tea bag cover right here and the tea bag i have as well and then the bonus was the fiber well i've got the ribbon here and the string from the tea bag so i think i managed that challenge okay that back in and the next one this is week three let me flip this out the prompts so something to do at a party well eat um i did have the word feast printed out but i just it didn't fit in somehow i don't know it just didn't look good now the next one was a fruit here's the apples Anything winter, my little pine cones here with the ice on them. Lines, I've got lines in the ledger in the background there. A shoe. Now, this was, I could have taken any kind of shoes, but this one hit me straight away. And I just loved it. Now, the size of it was like, oh, how am I going to fit it on there? Is it going to look good? But it just had to be this shoe. Um, so I thought, well, let's put it on and see what happens. So the shoe worked out and the bonus was a little ticket stub of any kind. And this tied in nicely. It balanced out the page there. So that's it for the first three three challenges. I'm really happy I'm doing it. Um, actually, I'm uh, kind of like a last minute normally kind of person. Whereas this, I'm quite like steaming along. But, it, you know, I don't prepare things ahead of time. I just do it all in like one one uh one hour or two hours depending on how long it takes me to find all the bits and bobs anyway that's it for me today short and sweet hopefully and um i'll be back very soon because i want to show you a lot of the projects that i'm working on a lot of the journals and um just to yeah give you a little update um on yeah all the things i have done if i have documented them i'll show you um, but in the meantime, well, let's say it's a little belated, but happy new year. I hope everybody's well and your families are well and it stays that way. Thanks for popping in. Um, thanks for being patient with me. <laughs> it's really appreciated. And, uh, well, I'll see you the next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.